Hello and uh, welcome to another vlog. Um, I'm at the, on the platform at Pet Prescott Station, railway station. Um, yeah, um, I'm going to do a separate video on Prescott Station and its importance to uh, Prescott. Um, but this one I'm particularly interested in talking about as I remember it as a child. Um, the station has, was, has, um, has been here since 1871. The actual line was built in eight, 1871. It was finished in 1871. Um, and it's one of the oldest um, branch lines in the country. It's actually um, it diverted off from the, the Liverpool to Manchester um, line, which was built in 1830, which obviously that's when um, Stevenson's rocket trials were done. And um, that's the oldest passenger railway line in the world, not just the country, in the world. And this was one of the oldest um, uh, lines. Um, and we've got a train coming in now, which is very convenient for us. Um, <laughs> I remember uh, th this, uh, this station because it's, um, it brings back great memories for me as a kid. And, um, I used to remember in the, in the mid 60s, I used to come down here with all my mates um, at the weekend. It's usually on a Sunday actually, and we'd see this big black steam train shunting up and down the platform here. Shunting up and down the platform, not these modern trains you see now, but the um, black um, steam trains. And um, we, would, um, we would run onto the platform here and wave at them and do all that and then there's the bridge over here which um, if you turn the camera around now you can see this bridge here we used to run out the station and we used to run on on that bridge and as the steam train went under the bridge we'd get full of steam and grit and and bits of stuff like that We'd head up to the bridge here at the end of Bridge Road and onto Manchester Road and um, we'd come to about here. This metal thing wasn't here then, it was just a, a low sandstone wall and so we'd go into the middle of the, uh, the bridge here, I would jump up and down, all these little kids uh, about f between 5 and 10 or 12 and we'd all just jump up and down like this and the steam train would come come over and it would be enveloped in steam and um, all kinds of stuff and stuff and then we'd run over to the road run over here and, and as the uh, as the train went under the bridge we'd do the same here we'd jump up and down and uh, we'd get really excited so every time a steam train came along, that's what we'd do. And we, it was great. It was real fun. Uh, it was one of my fondest childhood memories of, uh, yeah, welcoming. We were the railway children. We were the original railway children. We had a great time. And I'm sure a lot of you will remember that the old steam trains um, as they came through Prescott. Some of them still do come through Prescott, but um, uh, it was them days were great. And they, I mean, I remember them right up to the very late um, 60s, um, about 1969, when the last steam train was uh, seen in Prescott. So we've got some trains coming through now, which is very exciting, quite. That was uh, quite good and fortunate. Um, so these trains um, would go up and down the track and even the BI had a little um, 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 uh, trackway which came onto here and the BI shunter would come on. And a, again, it was a steam train and it would come on and come, come off and there were loads of carriages full of cables and stuff like that. Uh, so it got me thinking about them days. And I thought, wouldn't it be a great idea to be able to go back in history and try and relive them halcyon days in our youth? Wouldn't it be great to have a time machine um, 
to do that. So um, <laughs> I created my own time machine and myself and my camera woman, uh, Catherine Tonto, uh, um, we went the other day, we'll watch this train here. Going. There we go. So we went the other day to a place that's not too far from Prescott and is a great place to go to if you want to relive the age of uh, steam and you want to uh, get back into your younger self or not. If, even if you're just interested in history, it might be a good place to go. So earlier this week, we made a video and it looks much like this. See, there is a, a way you can go back in time. And uh, I'm here on the platform of Wattenstall, uh, part of the East Lanx Railway. Not a million miles from um, Prescott. I'm going to spend all day on the train uh, just to get that feeling of what it was like back in the 1950s and 60s when steam trains were everywhere. So uh, come and join me. All aboard! This is how I remember Prescott Station when I was a young boy and uh, we had the steam trains going up and down and uh, it's a piece of living history that is a, only a stone's throw away from Prescott, um, possibly about an hour's drive. Um, it's the East Lancashire Railway and I'll put a link on the video to show you how to, um, how to find it basically. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's an amazing um, place. It's a, um, all run by volunteers and um, we're going to spend an entire day jumping on and off old trains. What's not to like about that? Um, so, uh, yeah, um, this is where we start and we've got a train now just coming in. Uh, so we can watch a bit of that. It's the Golden Arrow, just here. Steam trains. Who doesn't remember standing on the bridge at Prescott Station watching the steam trains go past? Fantastic, isn't it? There we go. Let's enjoy a great, exciting day on the steam trains of East Lancashire. I feel like a little boy again. You look like one. <laughs> <laughs> Or an engine, I should say. To visit a
they're going to get onto the other track, connect at the top end, yeah. to take it back to Bury. Yeah. Okay. Lancashire crisps. What's not to like? <laughs> um, this is a great thing for if you're um, nostalgic for all things steam train or in the past. It's living history. And uh, it's all made possible because of volunteers. It's great, isn't it? So, what's really good about this is being able to get a day rover ticket and jump on and jump off, spend all day on the steam trains. There's no need to go anywhere else. You can go on the platforms and get something to eat. It's great. Yes. What are you saying, Kat? I'm saying how ornate the stations are. Very ornate. <laughs> the stations are very ornate. It's how I remember Prescott Station in the 1960s. And I'm sure a lot of you will remember it in the 1950s or even the 1940s. If you're old enough. Um, yeah, the golden age of the railway. Well, of course, the steam trains were the um, were the uh, iron horses of the Industrial Revolution. They drove the Industrial Revolution, 19th century um, industry. I've been told to say that our next stop is Ramsbottom because it's part of the sculptural trail which we're going to get off and have a look at. One is called the Vase, one is called the River. There you go. <laughs> My camerawoman and director <laughs> has directed us to say that. Enjoy the trip. We're in Ramsbottom. Oh, now rude. this also Very just rude. got off the train yes. uh, the Golden Arrow. Yes. Steam train. And uh, we have now got a two hour stop here. Yep. And this also has some 
sculptural pieces that form the Irwell Valley Sculpture Park. <laughs> Rams Bottom, things to see and do. You are here. So where's the veins? And there's a nice cafe called the Chocolate Cafe mm. where you can get some cream tea. Can you get cream tea? In the Chocolate Cafe? There's the river. River Airwell. Isn't that beautiful? So you just come out the station at Ram's Bottom and you go for lovely walks off the train. Mm. You can spend all day doing this, can't you, with mm. a rover ticket? Yes, on and off. So they only have three trains a day midweek oh. but at the weekends because there's, they have the one train doing three trips a day right up and down where you can jump on and off at the weekends they have two trains on so obviously you've got you know uh, timetable schedules slightly different i see it's good isn't it mm. Are you enjoying it? Mm. Yeah, people can do up the dogs, Kat. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if that's what I'm sculpture for. Yeah, I think it might be. Yeah, that it's might got be. It's got little good. sculptures on. Has it got any sculptures on? Uh, inspiration for Charles Dickens' Ni uh, Nicholas Nicholsby. Oh, wow.
if you've got any memories by the way of um, the steam trains in Prescott do leave a message at the end of this um, uh, underneath this video or on on our Facebook group and um, you know particularly if you've got photos of old steam trains and stuff like that of the on this platform then I'd love to see them as well so um, yeah uh, thanks for watching bye